What's good YouTube? It's your girl Z Baby with another video and in today's video I'm doing something different. So basically I'm about to be covering the topic and it just keeps reminding me that I need to make this video so people can really get it so they're not really getting it. So this video is basically going to be about women that are in their 30s and that are not married and don't have kids. So if you're interested in listening to this video, keep watching the video and shout out to all my new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all that has subscribed. I'm just loving everyone that is on my platform. I truly love y'all. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, I'm doing this video for one reason and one reason only, because some people out here just don't get it. Just because you don't have children and you are not married and you're in your 30s, or for me, I'm in my late 30s, there is nothing wrong with that. So I'm about to explain in five um, major points on why it's not that serious right now to be flipping and tripping if you are not married, if you are in your late 30s or in your 30s at all. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Number one, if you are in your 30s or in your late 30s, you should not be feeling upset that you are not married. For number one is because kids are super expensive out here. Kids cost money. Like my sister, she has a baby and it is a lot of money. Like it is a lot of money. And if you don't have it financially, and especially if you have a partner that doesn't financially have it, guess what? Both of you guys are going to be struggling or vice versa. If you're by yourself doing it, it's just as worse. And on top of it, kids need a lot of care and they need a lot of nurturing and they need a strong family background. And if you do not have a strong family background, it is extremely hard to raise a child. Like it, the, someone said back in the day, it takes a village to wear. Mm. It takes a village to raise a child. So no one can ever come to me in the back of my head and say, oh, you know, like single motherhood is easy. And even being married, you still have to take care of the kid. If your husband is at work, you have to take care of it. So until you are ready and willing to financially and emotionally give up all your freedom, then I do not recommend that you run in and get a child. And me personally, I'm just talking about myself in general. I don't feel nothing bad about not having a kid right now because I know right now I'm focused on myself and I'm focused on my credit. I know when I do want to give birth that I will be financially ready and I will have a home in my name so me and my child will not be living the um, stereotype raising a home in an apartment. There's nothing wrong with that, but I really feel like children should be raised in a home. All right, let's keep it moving. So I don't got time to waste with this video. All right, number, I don't even know what number I'm on, but number two, um, it don't feel bad if you don't have any kids while you're in your 30s because you are allowed to experience life and have a great time and still figure out what you want to do in life. And that is me. I still got things that I want to do and get accomplished. I know if I have a child right now, it's going to slow me down. I know that for sure. It's going to slow me down. Nobody can say it's not whether I have the father or not. It's going to slow me down. So I just want to focus on getting myself together. And yes, it took a long time for me to get myself where I am now. So if you're out there and you don't have any children, feel happy. And also, when you don't have kids and you're in your 30s, you have more money in your account. And you also have freedom to do whatever you want with your money. You don't have to worry about spending it um, and sacrificing yourself. You can do whatever you want. Now, I know this one is very selfish. But at the end of the day, it's like women as women, we have to take on all of the financial and I should have never said financial, half of the financial responsibility, emotional, and dedicate all our time to this little being. So, you know, I'm probably all over the place with this video, but you get what I'm saying. Like as women, when you birth a baby, all your time and your energy is into that child and it's no longer about you. You have to take care of the baby and men, they will, you know, some men will help. I'm not going to say that because there are some great dads out here. There are some um, nom phenomenal, un, you know. Say, there are some phenomenal dads out here that do an amazing job and take care of their kids because there are some good dads. And I don't want to shame the men because um, they're just, I just know there are some good fathers. I know some personally and 
I grew up with some, there are some great men that will do whatever for their child and spend every dollar. Every man is not irresponsible, just the thugs that don't want to grow up. All right, I hope you guys are still enjoying this video. For number four, and this really goes out to a lot of black guys for real. Like I don't never experience it with other races, but I just know like I've, I've get the looks all the time. Oh, you don't have any kids? Oh, you're not married yet? What you waiting for? Why you ain't getting it cracking yet? Instead of saying, when is the right guy going to come by and give you a ring? See, people are so worried about you going inside the delivery room, opening up your legs, screaming, ah, 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 ah. I don't give a damn about that. That's not what makes my world go round. It, I'm sorry. And um, I will say, be the first one to say this, is that, first of all, some people, especially some men, don't like the fact that you can have your money and have your freedom. they rather see you busted, disgusted, and can't be trusted. And see, me personally, I already lived that life when I was younger. And I don't want to live it now. I don't want to be struggling. I don't want to be homeless. And I don't want to be looking after my back every time I turn around a corner. That's not what I want to do. I want to make sure that I am financially willing and able and emotionally and done being a little girl and focus my time with my child. That's what I want to do. So anybody that's in their 30s and they do not have kids yet, girl or guy, because this applies for the guys too, not just the women, because there are some men out there that want to live their best life. Listen, have a great time. You're only young one time. And I work with seniors all day. Older people, it, it, it it's a lot. So when you're young, you need to be focused on yourself. You need to be focused on getting your credit together. You need to be focused on how much money you're going to make. You need to focus if you're going to build an empire. Are you going to build a business? There's other things to do. Are you going to read a book? Not just go ahead and be reproduced. Yes, we all can do that. That's where humans, we're supposed to reproduce on the earth. But at the end of the day, nobody said that's in the handbook for all women. You must have a child at this age. You must do this. You must do that. And whoever believed that bull, that is not true. It's not true. I don't care what nobody say. It is not true. I'd rather be financially ready and able to raise a kid than try to go out there and rush and then need all type of assistance. I'm sorry. That's just not the life that I want to live. Um, also, if you're in your 30s and you don't have any children, consider yourself lucky. You are going to have a great time in your 30s. For real, honestly, people I always look down on or why I don't have kids and, you know, I'm not married. But at the end of the day, I'm having a damn good time and I'm enjoying my life. And it is what it is for me. Like, I enjoy my life. I do what I want to do. Um, right now, I want to start investing and I want to start building my money into other things but that is neither here or say here or there it is what it is people will hate on you especially when you can move freely and guess what my time is my time when i want to do something i do it when i want to go somewhere i do it i don't have nobody holding me back telling me what i can and cannot do okay so yeah and for number five the reason why you should not feel upset if you don't have any kids and you are in your 30s is because um, God knows when it's time for you to have yours. Everybody has their day, especially if they out here getting in, um, getting it in on a the platter. They know God will figure out a time and who the person's going to be to do that. But other than that, me personally, I don't see no big rush because I look at the prices out here and everything is very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. I mean, when I say expensive, it's expensive. And it's very expensive for me to um, maintain my own lifestyle. So with that being said, I think I will just wait other until I get married. And if not, then I don't think I'm going to have any kids. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get a video every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm in the mall minding my business and then all of a sudden this dude just come out of nowhere and is like can you lend me a couple of dollars and I was like for what he was like nah can you lend me a couple of dollars I said no I'm not lending you anything what do I look like a bank ATM I'm not lending you not one dollar you don't even have a